Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video for today well we're gonna do another cards I see that you love when I do cards or bookmarks so I decided to do a couple of more of them and why not uh, for today also as practically always I will be using this uh, Canson Montval watercolor paper it is 300 gsm or 140 pounds 24 by 32 centimeters and I divided it into four parts so today I'm using two of those and it is 100% cellulose watercolor paper so I think any watercolor paper you have it doesn't matter if it's a cotton or a cellulose will do definitely so also I will be using these uh, ink pens from Etcher and I will probably use this one, this tip. I, I, th I think I already show you uh, that tip. And this is quite awesome uh, ink pen because you can do very thin and also very thick lines with that one. And uh, this is the one that I will use first. But if you don't have something like that, you can definitely also use this one this is just a regular tip so uh maybe i will use also that one i'll see <laughs> i'll see by the end when i start to do my inking i will see how which one uh, at the end i will be using also i uh, i'm gonna use my watercolors and also mix them uh, maybe with this etcher watercolors uh, i'll see also about that and we won't be using a lot of colors just a couple and also for the brushes, I will use this a little bit larger round brush and a little bit smaller round brush. And that's basically it from the supplies we need. Of course, uh, jars of water and we're ready to start. Let's do it. So I will be starting with the first card and I've mixed in somewhat a reddish color. This is an earthy tone, maybe something like a brick color uh, between uh, burnt sienna and maybe with a, just a little bit of orange in that color just to mix in. But of course here you can use pink, you can use yellow, you can use any color you like. Your uh, flowers don't have to be the same color as mine are. And I did paint something like a tulip and with those uh, three petals at the top and on the bottom I did paint it a little bit darker and also on the right side now I am adding this uh, brownish color in the lower part in the part that is nearest to the center and also on the side now painting in the two buds and for those I've just uh, topped in that uh, red color I used before added a little bit more of it on the bottom side and then again same brown as I did use for the flower bigger flower and now with this uh, brush with a very very beautiful pointy tip this is one from Lebenson paintbrushes series and of course um, there is again down in the description box link for Lebenson paintbrushes website so if you do want to check them out you also have a code uh, down written down in the description box for 20% discount so definitely something if you're considering getting a new brush definitely something you should consider consider and now with the green color I'm adding a couple of leaves and for the leaves I'm actually going uh, over the stem also and um, since the stem is not completely dry it is slightly mixing with the paint for my leaves so it gets this beautiful uh, brownish color at the bottom top of the leaf and also gives it a little bit more looser look now topping in just some clean water to help the paint spread around then uh, topping in that red I used for the flowers and also I will sprinkle some greener green for just to make it a little bit more interesting all of it I moved that card on the side to dry completely and while that was drying I started with my second card and for the second card I've added just a little bit of white in that red mix of color to make it a little bit slightly a pink color and paint in this flower it looks quite funny that flower but with those five petals but at the end it will look nice and also painted in the petals with that pink color and then with the same brown color that I used for the previous flower I painted in the center now moving on to the second flower 
For that I'm just painting it uh, with a round shape petals and also leaving some parts of the petals white because I do want that maybe highlight on that flower. Now with the brown color adding in the center and since the paint is still wet on my flowers it is spreading all, all, all around. Now sprinkling just a clean water to help the water spread uh, around the paper and make a little bit looser look to my flowers. Painting in the stems with the same brown color, again that Levinson brush and with the green painting in the leaves and this time I'm painting a little bit smaller leaves but also this time also going around uh, or over the stems and mixing those colors that brown and green. A couple of leaves I left a white part because I do again want that highlight on those leaves and connecting leaves with the stem and as you can see I am starting for from the root of my leaf and when I do touch it there with my brush that browns goes also into the leaves and that is just perfect that is what I do want couple of sprinkles again and I will leave it to dry completely. While that is drying I'm moving on to doing the inking on my first card and I will just doodle a couple of branches with some leaves on it, foliage and that is basically it. I will do quite simple doodles and you can add whatever you like of course on your card. I was basically almost finished with my card, just added a couple of sprinkle splatters with that brown, darker brown and brought in the text for you and then I was just looking to that card and thinking to myself I do miss a little bit more of the foliage on the top so I've added a couple of foliage also there, a couple of leaves and those uh, little dots for some maybe fruits or whatever is on that foliage. Then when finished with that first card I moved on to the second card, again drew in a couple of very very simple foliage, something similar to the first one and the same thing happened here. I finished my card, I wrote in the text, added a little bit of the splatters and I was looking at that card also and thinking to myself well I do need a little bit more of the foliage again on top, on the right uh, top. So I decided at the end to add a little bit more of the doodles also there and well basically what I want to say is that you need to make your card your own and even if I do not add doodles or do something on my card doesn't mean that you can't do it yourself if you have an idea a different idea of course by all means you do that you go for it you use that idea and with that I'll be finishing these cards also I hope you like you will like them too maybe something to uh, add to your collection and if you do like this video please hit the like button share it comment and if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel that really mean a lot to me maybe consider joining my channel that would also mean a lot to me and well I guess guys thank you so much again for watching and I hope I'll see you next time bye